Welcome to this week's Q&A. We've got a great question from one of our viewers in Hong Kong this week. Uh, it's quite pertinent because it's impacting a lot, of, uh, a lot of people. And our viewer has said, look, why has my borrowing capacity decreased by over 10% from last month? Um, it's a great question and on the face of it, it may seem that there is something wrong, but there isn't because what happens when the bank is, um, is conducting their serviceability checks for a new borrower, they have their benchmark rate, the hurdle rate, uh, that's set by the prevailing interest rate plus an APRA um, determined buffer. So every time when the RBA raises rates, and in the last two meetings, it's raised them by 50 basis points each time, and it looks like that may happen again in September, and then perhaps even at the next meeting, it can impact someone's borrowing capacity by up to 10 to 15%, depending on their other personal circumstances. So it's really important because people get their borrowing capacity done by the bank, or run their numbers, and give them their borrowing capacity, and then they'll just go away. And in many instances, we've found people who've been trying to buy into particularly the Sydney or Melbourne property markets for the last couple of years, haven't been able to do so because prices have been running away from them. They're now trying to finesse that and buy what they really want at a lesser price. So great principle, of course. However, if you're thinking you can buy a house for let's say $2.5 million and the bank has given you a borrowing capacity of $2 million plus, um, and you're not keeping an eye on what's happening in the more macro sense of, you know, the tightening that the RBA is, is currently undergoing, then you could be in for a lot of trouble because you're waiting and waiting to buy this house that you think you really want and you're gonna pay the right price potentially only to find out that you won't actually be able to buy it because the bank then says you haven't got enough borrowing capacity to service that loan that they indicated you could do one or two or perhaps even three months ago. So look, the important thing is to make sure that you are aware of this and if, if you have had a borrowing capacity that was done even last month, it, I would recommend that people update this fairly regularly with their lender uh, or their advisor to make sure that they know that they're capable of doing what they thought they would be. If you find this of interest, or potentially if you have a situation where you have your own borrowing capacity, but it now may be out of date by say three or four weeks, then please let us know. We'll certainly be able to try and help you with that, perhaps assist you in obtaining a larger borrowing capacity than you currently have, and enable you to then confidently go into the marketplace and seek to buy what it is that you want to actually obtain. So let us know, reach out to us by either email or call us, and uh, we can give you some help with that. If you found this of interest, then tune into our YouTube channel, click like, and I'll see you at next week's Q&A. I'm Andrew Untervega from Wise Guru.